In this video we're going to go over conversions between grams to moles and moles back to grams. So I guess we'll start off with something very simple. Let's let's take um, oxygen. So the molar mass of oxygen is 16 grams per mole. Units are important. So 16 grams per mole, what does that mean? Well, that means there are 16 grams per one mole. Or in one mole, there are 16 grams. So we had two moles, 32 grams, and so forth. So if we have two moles, we have 32 grams. So what, what we just did right there, that was a mole conversion right there. We went from two moles to 32 grams right in our heads. So it's, it's very easy to understand. But if we were to write this out, say we're going to go from grams to two moles. Like say we're, say we don't know how to do it in our head. You know, we have to write it out. So let's change the color. So you just get a problem saying you have 32.00 grams. I know this may be very simple starting out, but you know, I got to, got to start pretty, pretty easy. So say you had 32.00 grams of oxygen and it says how many moles is that so if you're going to go from grams to moles the one thing you would use is and I hope I can write this small molar mass don't forget that to go from grams to go from grams to moles you use molar mass Okay, so back to this. Let me switch it back. Okay, so we have 32 grams of oxygen, and we want to figure out the moles. So we're going to use some nice, good old, clean, dimensional analysis. I'm going to put it over 1 to make it look nice. And then you're going to multiply it times a conversion factor. So you have to think, what conversion factor can you go from grams to moles? Well, like I was just saying, to go from grams to moles, you use molar mass. So you have to open up that chemistry book or whatever piece of paper the instructor gives you, and you have to figure out, look at that periodic table and figure out what is the molar mass of oxygen. And luckily for you, I saved you some work. I wrote it right there, 16. So that is going to be our conversion factor that we put right here. And I'll, I'll make a video on how to use dimensional analysis and how to make it really easy to use. So 16 grams per mole. Well, another way you can write that is 16. Oh man, I covered the period. There we go. 16 grams per one mole. Or you can put in one mole, there's 16 grams. So these two are the same thing. They don't, they don't equal each other mathematically, but conceptually. It's just saying it backwards. There's 16 grams of oxygen per one mole. Or you can say per one mole of oxygen, there's 16 grams. It's the same thing. So what we want to do, if we're going to walk through this, and again, I'll do this in another video on how to use dimensional analysis. I'll keep it in red. So we're looking at this 32 grams. Grams is in the numerator. So in our in our uh, conversion factor we're going to put grams in the denominator and then moles because that's what we want. So we put what we have in the denominator and what we want in the numerator. And the conversion factor is molar mass in one mole of oxygen you have 16 grams so now we look at this so what does this equal let's check our units out first because that's that's what dimensional analysis is you're doing the problem by the units grams divided by grams cancels out moles is left over so our units is moles and that's what we want so that's good now we do the problem with 
the numbers. 32 divided by 16. Oh, that is, uh, let's see, 2. All right, so once again, we did do that in our head, but I just had to take it step by step to show you how you actually write it out. This whole process right here, this is nice and clean process other than with uh, some marks that I made. So right here, this is how you convert grams to moles. So let's, let's do another harder example that we can't do in our head. But just remember, you're going to use the same setup to go from grams to moles every single time. It's just, it'll be different numbers. All right, let's bump it up a level. Let's say we have, all right, first one I laid eyes on was iron. So some random numbers, we'll say four, 44.4, yeah, that was a random, 44.4 grams of iron. How many moles is that? Okay, so same process. We use dimensional analysis. We want to go from grams to moles. To go from grams to moles, what do we use for our conversion factor? That's going to be molar mass. And where do we get molar mass? We look at it, look it up in the periodic table. So if we look in the periodic table, we see that the molar mass of iron is 55.85 uh, grams per mole. Okay. So, same setup, you throw it over 1, multiply it times the conversion factor, grams is on the top, so we want to put it grams on the bottom, so grams, and then moles on the top, because that's what we want, and then one mole, so when we, do, when we do this conversion factor right here, we don't think about anything else, we only think about everything I'm circling right here, so in one, we'll say in one mole, how many grams are there? And that's 55.85. Okay, so, and that's going to equal, zero point seven nine five. Why did it, do that. That look weird. Okay, hold on. All right. This this is looking ugly. Let me try and fix this. All right. That's the best it's getting going to get. And remember, grams cancel out, so we're left with moles. Okay. Now let's say we were wanting to go from moles to grams. Okay. So let's say we had. Let me change the color up. Let's say you had um, 0 0.85 moles of well, we'll, we'll use iron since we have we have the molar mass up here. Save some time. Remember, it doesn't really matter what we use. You'll just look up the molar mass. So we put it over one, and it's the same process, except this time since moles is on the top we're gonna put moles on the bottom and what we want is grams so we'll put that on the top so moles on the bottom grams at the top so at one mole of iron there are fifty five point eight five grams of iron so using some dimensional analysis is going to come up with forty seven point five grams of iron or forty eight grams of iron so if we're getting basically if we're going to go from grams to moles grams to moles we use molar mass and if we're going to go from moles to grams we still use molar mass so let me fix that arrow to make it more exact. To go from grams to moles, molar mass, and to go back from moles to grams, you still use molar mass. So molar mass is the connection between grams and moles. Remember that. 
And you can tell just based on the units, because remember I said it's important to memorize the units of molar mass. The units of molar mass are grams per mole. So you know, to go between grams and moles, you can use the molar mass since that is the units. I hope this was helpful.